Good, mo good morning, Najathon. I'm Dina. This is Sarah. This is Andrew and Karen. And we are from the QBCC Behaviour and Design Team. We firstly want to take the opportunity to thank the organisers of Nudgethon for arranging this innovative event. We found it to be very insightful and so humbling to speak with all the wonderful people who work closely with the vulnerable people in this community to provide this critical support service. Today, we'll be tackling issues around court link, attraction and retention rates. To approach this brief, we leveraged... How do you get this going? I would, sorry. I guess. Okay. To approach this problem brief, we leveraged our skills in human-centred design to better understand the behaviour of Courtlink with their clients and stakeholders. As part of our research, we attended Courtlink, visited and spoke with other government agencies such as the House Service Centre and frontline NGO support volunteers such as Rosie's. We attended the Magistrate Court to better understand the court link environment and reviewed empirical research so we could use quantitative data to better understand the multiple complex issues facing the users of court link. After this discovery phase, we use this information to consider relevant cognitive bias and to craft interventions based on behavioural science. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Dina. Uh, so, as Dina mentioned, we took a design approach to looking at this particular problem um, and that actually um, got us to really focus on the different stakeholders and customer groups that are involved in that. So, our research led us to consider a macro view to understand the behavioural mindset of, in particular, the particular Courtlink participants um, and the stakeholders. So this has helped us to identify and diagnose the behavioural problems which sit behind the business challenges that we've heard so much about over the past couple of days. We use that to inform the ideas that we generated through our human-centred design ideation process and um, you know, in looking at the, the unique players within this process, we've identified several relevant biases due to the multiple complex issues being experienced, um, which we felt were combined with the past experience and perceptions of these customer groups with the process. Um, so we looked at things like status quo, hassle factor, and belief bias, and we really um, tried to understand what a court link participant is going through, and uh, we were very grateful for the insights we gathered as part of that process. And just to comment on the stakeholders. Uh, so we, we actually did the same thing in looking at the people and the agencies that interact with Courtlink and that refer people to them. So we, you know, we tried to really understand what they're going through now and what we think is needed to actually tackle the particular problems. Um, so we're looking at strategies to move away from that, a lack of advocacy and willingness to refer to move towards an improved partner relationship and a willingness to refer. Thanks, Sarah. Uh, so we considered uh, a number of options to nudge or influence individuals and make the right choices for themselves in a stressful environment. Uh, and then we actually noticed the gorilla in the room. Instead of pushing up, maybe we should be influencing down from stakeholders, mentors and peers to attract and retain. So therefore we changed our approach to a multifaceted intervention program called 123 Change. The top-down proactive advocacy to referral agencies would involve customised video messaging from supportive magistrates. The message would be targeted uh, and targeting the social benefits to the individuals and society by using the authority effect around areas of empathy, reduction in the financial impact around custody, for example remand, uh, and the responsibility to give clients, if eligible, all options as an experienced supporter, representative, assisting the benefits in the change in offending behaviours. So this would be signed off with a call to action and be a priming nudge for representatives to recall each time they meet with a client. The second intervention in this program has been incorporated into the 12-week program 
Um, the program stays the same, but now it's punctuated with group meetings where participants and former Courtlink graduates gather in an off-site venue in partnership with key stakeholders on a set day, so for example, the last Friday of a month. Uh, and this will allow recognition of participants who've completed a four-week milestone, uh, an opportunity to hear testimonials from graduate participants uh, acting as mentors, influencers and peer-to-peer -peer motivational role models, encouraging participants of the program to continue to attend through recognition, uh, hurting behaviours as well as goal setting. And lastly, by engaging with an established social media platform such as Facebook, um, participants will not only be able to have the roots of a consistent contact point uh, rather than, as we've heard, a regularly changing phone number, but they'll be able to access messages from Courtlink via social media using free Wi-Fi available in most public areas. Courtlink could partner with other key providers in and or out of government to cross-promote interest issues, testimonial stories, push announcement dates for services available and FaceTime if required for weekly appointments. The EAST framework, which identified uh, the power of networks, encouraging behaviours from peer to peer and the mutual support via social media as positive contributing behavioural influences would be involved here. Karen. So we heard from our panel yesterday that Courtlink's potential participants are often very fearful, confused and lack trust in the justice system. We also heard that the potential referrers, such as the legal fraternity, the QPS and community support services, are either unaware of Courtlink or lack clarity on what, around what services they actually provide. So our second intervention uh, recommends building a stronger brand and identity for Courtlink. So this could include a new name, new colours and a strong independent logo. We've suggested the name Benchmates here as something that's supportive and friendly, moving to a blue colour scheme that inspires trust and is very calming. This identity would positively frame empathy, the supportive nature of the services and independence from the courts. This branding would be used across a suite of behaviourally crafted marketing collateral and would include in an in informal style staff uniform shirt to aid recognition. These materials can be used in networking activities with referrers to build awareness and increase referrals to the service. We also recommend creating a more welcoming, relaxed environment in the court link offices and moving them out of the magistrate's court, perhaps into government hub facilities where possible. So our suggested, next one, our suggested method of evaluation uh, would be to conduct a pilot program in a regional court link office to test these improvements using an iterative approach. Uh, success would be measured through both an increase in referrals and through uh, assessing the engagement of the participants and how long they actually participate in the program, whether they get to the end of the 12 weeks or not. Thank you.